Hi friends, what's up? Today we are going to do something different. We are going to build this little Lenovo server. This is going to be my new home lab. And this is going to run Proxmox version 8.1. It is currently got VMware ASX on there, but I want to replace it and put uh, Proxmox on there so I can play around with it. I want to get some of the containers deployed. This is going to have EVNG. I'm going to use it for a bunch of different network labs. So yeah, stick around. The first thing I'm going to do is build the USB. I'm going to do that and then I'm going to show you getting it connected. Then we run through the setup and we will get the storage set up, the network set up, and we will deploy a basic VM just to make sure everything is working. First thing we need to do is go to proxmox.com proxmox.com we're going to click on download and then we're going to choose the proxmox v 8.1 iso installer so just download that once you've downloaded that we need to build a bootable usb so get your usb plug it into your computer and i'm gonna link a little tool that you can use to build this so just go to the website download the tool once you've downloaded the tool all you have to do is double click to open the tool so just click on flash from file then select the ISO that you want to use. I'm going to open that. I'm going to select the target. So just choose the USB key that you've inserted into your computer. Obviously be very, very careful which drive you select here. If you've got multiple disks or multiple hard drives in your computer and you select the wrong one, you're clearly going to wipe it. So be very careful which drive you use. Select the USB key and select one and then just click on flash. So that will then make a bootable USB and then we can use that to boot the server. So whenever the USB key is done, plug it into the server, power it on and then we will boot to the USB key. I'm just going to press F12 to boot the server to the USB. Write on the list and select the USB key it's here somewhere. There it is, this is the one, so I'm going to boot to that. Um, so for install, I'm going to do the top one. Install Proxmox V, I want the GUI. That's going to run through some stuff. Um, so you can walk away, come back, and it will be at the screen where we have to select the language and keyboard layout. So it will boot up to the end user license agreement screen. So just click on agree, select the target disk where you want this to actually be installed. I'm gonna choose to install on this disk here. This one is a 120 gig M2 disk. So there's actually two of them and they were mirrored. So I've configured all of this via read something that beforehand. So I'm gonna select this one and then I'm gonna click on next. And then I'm gonna choose the country. I'm in London, go UK, next. Password, I'm gonna put a password in. At this stage, I want to choose the network interface that I want to configure for the server. So I'm going to choose this one, AN04. On the actual server itself, I have four gigabit ports. This is the one I want to use. So I'm going to put in uh, an FKDN hostname for, for this. So I'm going to use third .ds. Um, I'm going to choose 192.168. 168.0.14 we slash 24 I'm going to use the 0.1 as a gateway DNS I'm going to use Google and then I'm going to go next okay so does everything look right next 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 and then I'm just going to hit install so that's going to run through the install that might take about 20-30 minutes um, you're going to hear the server restart a whole bunch of different times Go grab a cup of tea, come back, and should be ready. As you can see, it's actually saying here in the corner that I need to remove the bootable USB, so let me do that quickly. So once the server has rebooted, you will see on the screen, if you have it still connected, you'll see a message where it tells you that you need to connect to 192.168.0.14 port 8006. So if you have your network cable connected to port four or whatever port you selected during the build as your network port, then connect to the IP address you configured it for. In my case, it's 
zero to 14 and it's port 8006 so let's do that so i've just logged into the website i'm gonna hit proceed and you'll see so it's gonna ask me to enter the username and password that i created during the install okay i don't have a valid subscription that's fine for now while the server was booting i went to the debian website and I actually downloaded an ISO. Now we're going to use that to build a test VM on Proxmox. Let's go back to this. I want to just verify the network configuration. EN04, so that was the interface that we configured earlier. As part of the build, it automatically creates this Linux bridge that will connect your VMs to your home network. You can see the different disks we have installed. I have a number of two terabyte disks. I'm gonna bundle those up into one storage drive where I can keep all of my VMs and all those. They'll all live on that storage disk. The other disk that's there, that would just be used for Proxmox and the OS itself. Let's just get the, um, the ISO uploaded and then we will build a test VM and see if it all works. I'm gonna select the file that I've just downloaded. So let's just upload that. Okay, that is done. Okay, we verified that the ISO is actually is there. Let's just create a VM. I'm gonna, okay, that's fine. I'm gonna leave the VM ID at 100. I'm just gonna delete this after. I'm gonna choose the ISO image you've just uploaded. I'm going to go next. I'm going to leave this all as default. Disks, that's fine, 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 fine. CPU, that's fine. I'm going to add this, it's going to give this 4 gig. I'm going to go next. I'm going to use the VMBR0, so that is the bridge VM network that was created as part of the Proxmox build. Um, I have no VLANs, I'm going to go next and finish. Okay, so I'm just going to hit graphical install, continue, choose UK, continue, and uh, continue. Just gonna enter a password that I need for root and continue. Full name is Jared. Continue, continue. I change the disk, yes, continue. Okay, let's just log into the VM and check to make sure all is looking good. Okay, happy days. Perfect, that looks like it's working. And there you have it. That is how you build Proxmox. If you have a little server at home, don't throw it away, just rebuild it, put Proxmox on it, use it as a lab. It's a great little tool and it's completely free. So I'm going to use this lab and it's going to host all of my things like EVNG. I'm going to build a load of different containers on it. I really want to start playing around with container security so that's something I'm going to use this lab for. If you have any good ideas of what I can build in the Proxmox lab then let me know in the comments below. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next week.